Welcome back loves, here is another boyfriend confession. I hope you guys watched Elf 6K special since it's one of my favorite songs. Anyways I hope you guys enjoy the video. Confess already group chat. Utico is online. Heyo. Everyone is online. So I've been keeping track of all our confessions and we only have three left. Yay who are they? Kitta, Goshiki and Kimori. Kimori you haven't confessed to that snake yet? Well I'm kinda nervous. And Shirabo can be kinda scary. Nah he just at Sudir. I haven't had a good opportunity. I know someone who can help you Kitta. Utico added pretty B to the chat. Hi babies. Hi. Hey Tsumu babe I need you and Samu to help Kitta. Why am I being dragged in? Oh come on you know Kitta will never get to it. Ugh fine. Or I can help Goshiki. If you don't mind Kimori I can ask Sakusa to help. Thanks Senpei. Oh I'm sure. Well good luck let's finish this. In another group chat. Pretty B added Twin and Kitta. Let's get started now. So how am I supposed to help? You and Suna are best friends so you can at least help with advice. Oh okay. I want to confess but we never have time. Probably because this on hogs him. Then tell him tomorrow I'll cancel our plans. Good now Kitta you should ask him on a date. But where do I take him? How about a candy store? Candy store? Remember he loves those jelly fruits. Oh yeah. Okay I will. Alright good luck I have to go. The next day arrived and Kitta was at practice. Practice is almost over, should I ask now? As practice was wrapping up Kitta approached Suna. Hey Suna. Um oh hey. Need something? Would you like to go to a candy store with me? They are famous for their jelly fruits. Sure should be fun. My plans are cancelled anyway. Okay then let's go. Both of them grabbed their things and made their way to the candy store. Wouldn't you prefer going to a restaurant than being here? Um? Why do you think that? Well you like tofu burgers right? Hit a slighty blushed. H how did you know? Well, there are a lot things I know. Oh. Silence filled the air as they picked up candy. So how about I take you to a restaurant since you brought me here? You don't have to. Then let me say it differently. Will you go on a date with me tomorrow? Kitta paused and his eyes widened. Wait what? I've been meaning to ask you but I've been busy. Actually I also want to tell you something else. Okay. Suna put his candy down and faced Kitta. I like you and have for a while. So would you like to start dating? Kitta still stood froze staring at the candy. Kitta? When Suna looked at Kitta he was tears running down Kitta's face. I'm sorry if you hate the idea then. No. I mean no um I would like to go. And also I feel the same. Kitta kept his head down while talking, embarrassed about his outburst. Ha <laughs> ha okay. Suna tilted Kitta's head up and brought his face close to Kitta's. Oh uh, you're adorable. Kitter face turned so red to the point it looked as if it was steaming. Can I kiss you? Kitter hesitantly shook his head yes. I could ravage you right now but too bad we are in public. Suna pulled Kitter close and gave him a kiss on his lips. You taste like that chocolate you were eating on. Kitter hid his face into Suna's chest as Suna held him close. How about we go eat? We only had candy. Kitta still hiding his face and Suna's face shocked his head yes. So damn cute. If only I could carry you in my pocket.